This is code.org. I'm currently working on their U uh, CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, and I'm on Lesson 4, Shapes and Randomization, Part 11, Random Numbers. Here's the same sun from last time. Oh yeah, from, I guess, Part 9. Right now, only the X coordinate is random, but you can make the Y coordinate random too. Okay. Oh, they mean down here. Got it. Do this. Use random number for the ellipse's Y parameter. So the circle is drawn in a random Y position too. Okay, let's just make sure. Is it random right now? Oh yeah, it's changing up. As long as your circle is appearing at X and Y positions, you can move on. Okay. Oh, and a parameter, remember, 200 is a parameter, 50 is a parameter, 50. Random number right now is in a parameter spot, right? So random number is actually a parameter for x. And yes, random number has two parameters, 0 and 400. Fill, orange is a parameter, right, for fill. Okay, anyways, we need a random number. Oh, where is it? Oh, right, it's hidden under math, so click on that. I'm going to grab this, and it says I need it for Y. All right. Well, I am, I'm just going to hide the toolbox. going to do, we could do 0 to 400, just like that. Um, I don't know. I only want to use half the screen for this one. Ooh, yikes. Want it there. I'm only going to use half the screen for this one, so I'm going to say 0 to 200, just to make it different. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it's right here. I'm going to hit Reset and Run. Okay, well, it moved a little. Oh, yeah, it's moving around. And it should never, if I only go to 200 for my Y value, where's 200 Y? It should never go below this center line, I guess. That's cool. Yep, and we can randomize, again, anything. So I can move this to here, and now I'm going to say 0 to oh, 250, and that's width. So let's see what it does now. You don't need to do this. I'm just showing you. Random number is really handy, especially as we're playing uh, and as we're making games. Great. Let's keep going. 